All right, guys, we're going to uh, talk about Tanner Bozer versus Giacomos Lemos. Um, Giacomos Lemos is at uh, plus 140. He was at a... Uh, plus 120 on Monday when I did my first video. So he's coming up. So a lot of people are going Tanner Bozer. Um, I just watched Tanner Bozer's fight versus uh, a Russian, his last loss, his last split decision loss. Um, who was it to? Uh, Salem Gary Ruzilov. So that was in Moscow. And uh, Ruzilov, he's kind of, I mean, he was slow, but he had the power shots, and he was able to outpoint the outpointer of uh, Tanner Bozer, who's basically, he fights like Floyd Mayweather kind of. He's just a point fighter. Um, hasn't been TKO'd since 2015 by Tim Hogue. Um yeah, but I don't know. People, I think people think Giacomo Lemos is too slow for him. But uh, he did look slow in his last fight versus a fat Japanese dude in Japan who got a doctor stoppage. But um, I watched his first fight where he subbed Leonardo Vittorino in the third round. He looked really fast. So it might, might have been just like a bad night for him. Um, I'm still going to go with Lemos. Uh, he just seems like the more intense guy. He likes to uh, clinch you up. So if he can get a hold of Tanner Bozer, he likes to give those big knees to the body. Um, he could take people down. Tanner Bozer's not too good on the ground. He's more of a striker. Um, yeah, I mean, Giacomo's Lemos is a good underdog bet at plus 140 on DraftKings right now. I'm going to go with TKO, too. Um, probably be around plus 300 for him to TKO Tanner. Most likely because he's not probably not going to win a decision. He's never gone a decision before in his career. Even though he is making his UFC debut, uh, and he was fighting Japanese people, so sometimes those fights are kind of sketchy. But he's 30 years old. He's one year older than uh, Bozer. But he's just a big guy, and he's strong, too. He, The last guy he fought was just a big, big Japanese dude, bigger, way bigger than Bozer, and he was throwing him around like nothing. Um, yeah, I got Giacomo Lemos. Bozer's got a good, fast jab, but he leaves his right hand down, or his left hand like this, and he kind of leans forward, and Giacomo Lemos has those Big um, lunging right hooks where it gets inside. Big hooks to the body. Bozer's got a soft torso. So it really comes down to if Lamos can get a hold of him. Because Bozer, he's more of a jab, get out of the way kind of dude. Wants to outpoint people. Doesn't really go for the finish. And like I said in my first video, he might want to be impressing the boss man because it's his first UFC fight. We all know Dana White likes finishes. Um especially a heavyweight. Like you can't be a good decision with a heavyweight. Um, the lines are probably going to be in favor of a decision because of Bozer's record of like fucking 13 decisions. His last five fights, I believe, have all ended in decision. Except his last fight was a TKO via leg kick, which I couldn't find online. But I think a lot of people are going to say this is going to go to decision, a Bozer decision. But uh, I think a safe bet would be a no decision. Giacomo Lemos, I mean, he's not as fast as Bozer, like technically boxing in the reach wise, but he's fast when he gets inside. He like he likes those big hooks, those big body hooks. He's a strong dude. He likes to clinch you up. And he throws some big knees, like, right to your body. Like, um, they're not fast knees. But I think he could control Bozer. He's going to want to control him. 
take him down probably. He doesn't want to get outpointed. It's only a three-round fight. We haven't seen him, uh, his cardio really. He doesn't seem to uh, slow down though. I mean, against Jun Su Lim, it was a, or a Sang Su Lee, it was a doctor stoppage. He went two rounds and he was still going strong. Uh, he's a beast, man. Like I said in my first video, he's got a third round submission, Leonardo Vitorino, uh, I talked about earlier. And then TKO round two, TKO round two, TKO round one, TKO two, Dr. Stop, it's TKO two. So that got him into the UFC. It's just a six fight streak. Had one amateur fight, round three, TKO. But uh, I think he's going to try to impress the UFC too. He's coming out of Brazil. Rangel Ferias team. Rangel Ferias team. Yeah, I think he's going to take it to the ground. He's going to try to clinch him up, push him against the fence, give him some knees, trip him like he does. He does this weird trip where he trips you and then kind of jumps on you to just give you all his weight into the trip. So I think he's going to trip him on the ground, maybe sub him, maybe ground and pound, but those knees are just worrisome because Tanner doesn't have, like, he's not really muscular for a heavyweight. He's uh, kind of tall. And he's got a soft torso, so those knees are going to hurt him. He did get hit by Ruzilov a couple times, too. And Giacomo Lomos has that big right hook. Tanner Bozer keeps his hands down. I say Giacomo Lomos. I'm not saying he's going to do it round one. A good bet would be no decision, because it's probably going to be a pretty big underdog bet. Not for it to not go to decision. Um, I may even go to Giacomo TKO because this dude's a beast. And he's 30, so one year older than Bozer. But I think the athleticism of him is just going to be too much for Bozer. He likes to control people from the outside, but Lamos is just going to bring the fight to him. And uh, he's not good at dirty boxing. He's got a fast jab. He likes to stay on the outside, but he's not a good dirty boxer. And I think Giacomo Lemos takes that. He's got big hooks. And like I said, Bozer keeps his hands down, especially when he's dodging stuff. He likes to, you know, he, he leans in like a boxer. And Lemos has kicks. Um, and he has a chin, too. I've seen him take a couple big hits to the jaw, just coming inside to clinch you up. And he'll swing with anybody. He doesn't give a fuck. He'll stay in the pocket with you and swing in like a telephone booth. Bozer won't do that, but I think he's athletic enough to chase him down and get the hook. So I'm going to say safe bet, no decision. I might go Giacomo Lemos TKO.